Hi there, everyone. You are currently looking at the past 48 hours with Typhoon Samba as it moved over Okinawa, then off there towards Korea. And now it's eventually working its way into northeastern China and southeastern Russia, and maybe even portions of Hokkaido. And it did bring some devastation in its wake, some damage across the southern Japanese islands. At least one death was reported in and around uh, South Korea here, the southern portions of South Korea, due to a landslide. This video right here, you can actually see some uh, debris flowing out in the water here in Okinawa. This was taken yesterday, and somebody was nice enough to send the video here towards the website. But also, uh, we're continuing to watch this storm system, and as it pulls away, we will definitely be seeing some improving conditions across the Korean Peninsula. Actually, clear skies now, as we can see from the radar imagery here. You only see a little bit of these few bands off towards North Korea, so nothing too significant. Definitely the recovery efforts, actually over 10,000 people are currently been reported without power. Some landslides across this area here. Coastal regions definitely did experience some high waves and storm surge. All the flights from Busan over here towards the west coast, even Chejido, all canceled in and out of here. I did see uh, plenty of reports of that. Very inconvenient. Even myself had a flight canceled from Tokyo Narita down towards Okinawa from uh, Jetstar Airways. Uh, they were nice enough not to refund my flight there. I did say not, but that is that. But here is our tropical storm, a sun, but pulling off there towards the northeast. It is currently uh, clocked in at 45 gusts up to 65 knots moving over the sea of japan but once again if we go back to that satellite imagery you can definitely see here that the wind shear is taking its toll on this system here you have the jet stream right through here and then right up in this region it is starting to pick it up and push it off there towards the east once this comes into the last several frames you'll be able to see where exactly it is here and actually we can just put a little stop on this uh, imagery and bam uh, as we scroll back down Right there, that troughing that's starting to pick it back up. This is likely going to be going extra tropical. That high pressure ridge that's keeping portions of Japan rather nice today. Some moisture inflow still coming in from the south here, actually across portions of Shikoku and even off there towards Honshu and Kyushu. This storm system, despite the fact that it's way off here towards the north, is bringing some heavy rainfall with it. Actually, if we take a look at the radar, you can see that there still are a lot of areas in these purples and reds pulling on shore here, picking up the moisture from the Kuroshio current, which runs right through about this area. Area. Well, actually, in Kochi Prefix, or here in Shikoku, 468 millimeters of rainfall has been reported in the past 24 hours. Some absolutely devastating amount of rainfall coming on shore here. Would not be surprised if we see some reports of significant flooding along the eastern seaboard of mainland Japan here, despite the fact the storm system is clear off here towards the north north and pulling away but as we look into the next several days here we watch the storm system continuing to pull away and it does look like the rain showers will begin to slowly start to dissipate as well as it continues to head off in that northerly progression and here about 78 hours out we actually see on the 20th looking right around the just towards the west of the Marianas and right around Guam here all the way near the bottom of the map we start to see a little bit of a cyclonic circulation pick up with some heavy precipitation associated with it and as we continue to go through here out to uh, right around the 24th very large and potent system being picked up here on the GFS model outlook and even out to 192 hours it does continue to pull on this this is actually about the fourth model run straight that picks up on this so as we start to see the rains die down there in the north Yet another storm system begins to develop, and if we look at the European model outlook, at their pressure forecast here going out to about 144 hours, that's basically going into about the same time here, the 20th into the 22nd, uh, we can continue to see the possible development of a storm system pulling off there just towards the northeast of Luzon. So the possibility is definitely there. Sea surface temperatures remain very warm out here and uh, then that really just means that there is a very well chance that this storm system very well could develop. But I'm going to leave you here with the satellite imagery. I do apologize for that one skipping frame here, but it does show that uh, Typhoon Samba here over the past several days starting all the way down near the Philippines. Also another thing you can see here is that continued flow actually coming across the Philippines here. Moisture after moisture pushing on shore. Widespread flooding has been reported across portions of Asais over towards a Luzon even around a Manila here as well as the moisture continues to stream on shore. So definitely a very wide and expanse storm system. You can actually see here starting all the way across the South China Sea wrapping up around this storm and off there towards the north 
These are all the areas that were affected by one that we're going to remember for 2012 as it has been the strongest storm yet this season. Uh, still not yet over though, yeah, but we're going to continue to watch on here. Also, please check out James Reynolds' uh, video. Here, the annotation is on the screen for his ventures down there in Okinawa and filming this storm and absolutely getting right into the eye of it. So absolutely great footage there. Please click the annotation. Once again, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please post them in the comment box below. Stay safe out there, everybody. That was uh, the most horrible eye wall I've ever been through in my life. And I've been through a few, but that was uh, definitely the strongest and definitely the most unpleasant.